Patty at Canelo H2O's Roller Bros and Melissa Molners alike, and her comment is extremely concerning. Apparently, for some reason, YouTube unsubscribed her from my channel without, like, her actually unsubscribing. So that's terrific. I am feeling good today, but I felt like feeling a little bit worse. So let's look at these I'm a total piece of crap posts. Alright, let's start off with something just slightly horrible. Kids from poorer neighborhoods keep coming to trick or treat in mine. Do I have to give them candy? Why, yes, Emily, you do have to give them candy because that's how Halloween works. Alright, welcome to another edition of If You're Going to Be a Thief, Please Be Less Stupid. This woman starts heading towards the elevator, and there's a package for another person in the apartment building, and she just decides to scoop it up like there isn't a camera watching the area where packages are left for people. Apparently this was like a $400 FedEx order, but really, the value is irrelevant. This is so stupid, you're just... God! So this is like a TikTok trend, I've been seeing it all over, it's like the I got hose thing. But most people do it within their own home. They don't do it out at a restaurant where somebody else is going to have to clean up that sticky ass Mountain Dew. And I absolutely love this woman in the background. This woman right here, she's just like, you're an idiot, I am judging you right now. I feel like we can all relate to this woman. Look at this article, shockingly, from Vice. We've seen a lot of stuff like this from them. What I've learned from cheating on people. Cheating on your other half isn't always the worst thing ever. Just don't be an idiot about it. Just, why is everybody, why is this a narrative that exists out in the world? Like, if you're cheating on someone at all, guess what? You're being an idiot about understanding how relationships ships work. If you want to have a significant other and sleep with other people, find a person that's okay with that. Don't just cheat on someone that isn't. I hate you. Prosecutors said Nafes Monroe used his 11-month-old son as a human shield to avoid being shot by dealers while using counterfeit cash to buy drugs from them. Monroe's son remains in critical condition after being shot four times last month. Just, just one that is a resilient child that the kid is even still alive. Thank God. I hope he makes a full recovery and is placed with a parent that is not this person. I mean, one, you're a bad parent for all the horrible decisions that led you to this moment, but then sacrificing your own kid to save yourself, it's just one of the scummiest things I could even possibly imagine. Just as a heads up, this next clip includes racial slurs. I am going to uh, bleep them out, though. I said you were talking crazy, uh -huh. you stupid fucking, fucking Okay. Did you get it that time? I did. I said nig okay. Cool. So these two end up being on the same road for a while, and the guy continues, I think like three or four times he break checks her, stopping short in front of her to try and get her to crash into his vehicle. Which, I mean, one, this dude is obviously racist, and two, he's now like attempting to seriously, seriously injure another person. I mean, imagine if she did not break in time and actually crashed into him. That could result in a serious injury all over what? Like, at worst, maybe this woman cut him off in traffic? Like, what an absolute piece of shit. And also, I feel weird making light of this situation, but when they both say stupid fucking n-word at the same time, it almost sounds like in like a sitcom when two friends will like come to a realization at the same time, and so I found that kind of humorous, but obviously what actually happened is disgusting and detestable. This was tweeted out after a shooting at a school. I hope the local news likes the footage they got of me crying while evacuating my school. Don't know about anyone else, but it was super awesome to have a camera stuck in my face right after I had texted my mom for what I thought was the last time that I loved her. First off, I'm extremely sorry that this person had to go through that and then deal with that whole stupid news thing. I honestly, sometimes in situations like this, I really start to think that these news people actually get excited when something happens like this because they know that ratings are going to get up because they get to cover the story. And I honestly think that news outlets should do something to ensure us that that's not actually the case. Because when stuff like this happens, I honestly think we should find out what station was shoving the camera in this kid's face and have people freaking boycott it so that these news stations will actually get the picture that their story is not as important as the victims of what just happened having some space for a moment. 
I finessed a champion fanny pack and it's filled with inhalers, EpiPens, and a bunch of medical stuff. I feel bad now. Poor kid is probably unable to run from the cops because I got his inhaler. Are you not angry enough at this post yet? Well, would it help if you found out that this person lives in a $1.7 million mansion and has a brand new Audi at the age of 17? You didn't finesse. I hate when people use the term finesse incorrectly. You didn't finesse a champion fanny pack. You stole a champion fanny pack and it was filled with important stuff. Either give it back or I hope that you're reported to the police and you go to fucking jail. So, from FedEx packages being stolen to FedEx employees being incompetent, FedEx guy throws $1,500 Canon lens instead of just walking 10 feet. Like, why? Why do you even work a job where you're not handling precious cargo all the time, my dude? While members were arriving at Cabbage Tree Road Station this morning, they were very disappointed to find multiple of our hoses had been cut at both ends while they had been left out to dry. Bro, 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 just why? Firefighters exist exclusively to help people out of horrible emergency situations. Why do you have to make their job more difficult and cost them extra money? Like, obviously the state's gonna have to pay for it and not the firefighters themselves, but still, this is horrible. And like, what if something, what if an actual major fire happened at that moment and they didn't have replacement hoses to like, get this situation figured out? So the two people in this text conversation hooked up and then the guy in the gray text told the green text that he was married and this was him cheating on his wife with her. Hey, I saw you in the lobby this morning. You didn't even acknowledge me. I know you're afraid my wife might find out, but I guarantee you she doesn't know. Hey, you haven't answered any of my calls. You don't have to worry. She doesn't know you. I I'm not worried. I'm just not interested in someone who lied to me about his relationship status. Really? So you're so high and mighty now? You give blowjobs to guys you don't even date. I don't need to be judged by someone like you. I don't care how cute you think you are. You're an ugly person on the inside. Get AIDS and go to hell. Jesus Christ. This guy did not like getting called out on his own infidelity. Like, like, I just don't understand what, like, moral high ground this dude has to stand on. Yes, this person had a casual hookup with you, but you also had a casual hookup with them. You're just offended that they were unhappy with you cheating on your significant other. All right, brace yourself. We got a couple of pedo posts in a row. Elementary school teacher pleads guilty to blindfolding students and spoon feeding them cookies laced with his semen in sick tasting game. What the fuck is wrong? What is why? Why are you the way you are? Please send this man to prison for life. Somebody sent this message to a kid on Amino. Welcome to this Amino. My name is Mandy and I work with Amino. So if you don't know, this is a safe space for young girls. We require users to be 14 and younger. If you fit these requirements, you can be here. We also have to make sure that all members here are girls. To verify this, I will need a photo of you of your bare chest with a bra on if you feel uncomfortable and your age. This is just an extra security feature, but all members must do this. Users that refuse to do this will be permanently banned. This is probably one of the creepiest and scariest things I've seen on the internet. And I mean, to me, this is like, oh, obviously this is fake. But to a young kid, I don't know. They might think that this is actually a thing that is required of them. This will never be required of, of you from any website ever. The only people that are ever supposed to see you in any state of undress are maybe your parents and a doctor. I don't know how this works, but just not a people on Amino. Just don't do this, please. And also, I just wanted to let you guys know that this was reported to the police, so hopefully this person has been caught. Two Milwaukee women wanted on suspicion of trafficking girls who spent time at shelters. So these girls are already going through a tough time in their lives, they're at a homeless shelter, and now you're going to take them away to become sex slaves. Great, that's awesome, you're an amazing person. So this is a very, very scary situation. This person is doing something that I would not advise anybody do by passing two trucks in a row, but I mean, everything should have gone fine if this one truck driver didn't decide to just randomly cut them off and cause them to get into a really, really bad car accident where their car flips over multiple times. Like, what was the purpose of that? Do you just not like getting passed by people? Like, 
you legitimately could be responsible for somebody's death. So, a warning ahead of time, this post involves an animal. This woman decided to get her dog tattooed. Um, yeah, I don't know why you would do that. Dogs have no say in getting tattoos, and it's just why. You're putting your dog through massive amounts of pain so that you can enjoy its aesthetic more. That's just ridiculous. You're terrible for having this done. Whoever the tattoo artist is is also a horrible person. Fuck you both. I hope that you both are not uh, having a good lives right now. Guys, it's Sal time. It's all gonna be okay. Everything's going to be all right. You're not a bad person. Hopefully, if you've watched this video and you've been disgusted with the things that you've seen, you know that inside of yourself, you're you're above this, and you're going to do good things with your life, not like these people whatsoever. I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves. I hope you're staying safe, taking care of the people around you, skating on to the best of your abilities, and drinking more water. I'll see you very soon. Peace out, guys.